Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to fix temporary failure in name resolution on Windows subsystem for Linux 2. You can try the following troubleshooting steps. In this step by step guide, we'll provide detailed instructions for each solution. So, first, let's understand the problem. The temporary failure in name resolution occurs when WSL2 is unable to resolve domain names causing difficulties when accessing external resources such as downloading packages or connecting to remote servers. So let's get on with the solutions. Solution 1. Restarting networking services. Close your WSL2, open a terminal within your WSL2 instance and run the following commands to restart the DNS resolver service. You can follow these steps. Open the WSL2 terminal and enter the following commands sudo service networking restart this is the command that you have to enter and then you can test the connection by pinging a domain such as google.com for that you have to write this command ping google.com this command restarts the dns resolution service and can often fix name resolution issues if the issue persists you can try solution 2 updating wsl2 configuration Updating the WSL2 configuration can also resolve the issue. For that, open the WSL2 terminal, create or open this file using a text editor such as nano. For that, you have to write the command sudo nano slash the file name and add the following lines to the file. Bracket network generator reso lb conf equals to false. Save and close the file. Restart WSL2 by closing the terminal and reopening it. You can test the connection using a ping command, which was shown earlier. Solution 3. Modifying DNS settings. For that, you should follow these steps. When you open the terminal, edit the file by using the command sudo nano slash the file name Replace the existing content with the following lines name server 8.8.8.8.8 and name server 8.8.4.4. These are Google public DNS addresses. You can also use other DNS servers such as OpenDNS or Cloudfare if preferred. You can save and close the file and test it using the ping command. Solution 4 Disabling Windows Fast Starter. Windows Fast Startup can cause conflicts with WSL2 networking. To disable it, follow these steps. Right click the Start button and select Power Options. Then click Choose what the Power buttons do on the left side of the window. Then click Change settings that are currently unavailable to enable editing. Uncheck the Turn off Fast Startup recommended option under Shutdown Settings. Click Save Changes and close the window. Restart your computer to apply these changes. After disabling, open WSL2 terminal and check the connection using the ping command. You should also check your Windows Firewall settings. Ensure that Windows Firewall is not blocking connection from WSL2 environment. You can try temporarily disabling the firewall or adding an exception for the WSL2 network. These easy to follow instructions will help you navigate the necessary commands and configurations. Thank you for watching the video. Hope the video helps. Like, share, subscribe.